Hello, hello, what's up everyone? Gets here for another Nino Kuni Cross Worlds video and I'm sure everyone's already very very excited for the upcoming patch for February 22. Well, it's actually going to start tonight, February 21. 11 p.m. until 2 p.m. So that's almost 15 hours of maintenance time. So the reason why it's very large is because of the server merge that's coming. So hopefully everyone's very excited for this one. So we're going to go through all the changes for the next patch. Okay, so this is the patch notes that's coming from the official forum of Nino Kuni Crossworlds. Okay, so let's see the update schedule. So this is the update schedule over here, right? So 15 to 6 10. So this is basically translated into pH time. It's going to be 11 p.m. to 2 p.m. to 10. Okay, so hopefully, I mean, hopefully, there's no extensions because this is already a long time. It's 15 hours, man. I understand that there's going to be a lot of work that needs to be done for the server merge, but come on, please, no extensions. <laughs> Anyways, we will be checking out all the new changes as soon as servers are up on my Twitch channel. So twitch.tv slash kidsgg, I will be checking out everything as soon as the game is up so see you there tomorrow okay anyways let's look at the update details over here so server merge we have the server merge announcement over here so let's look at that again so we want to review this one again so that you will have an idea where you will be going into okay so i'll be linking everything down in the description below if you want to check it out for yourselves but these are the server merge lists okay so this is for North America and a region, okay? So you will now be ending up with four servers instead of the previous. I don't know. I don't want to count. <laughs> That's 12, no? Okay. And then South America, you're going to have four as well. And then this is for Europe. EU has one, two, three, four, five. Five regions left. And then for Asia, we have one, two, three, four, five, six. 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. We will still have 11 servers, which is still a lot of servers. Okay, so as for myself, I will be going into... Where is it? Pyrocorox. Okay, so this is Aqua Cancer, Sand Cancer, and Sand Capricorn. So everyone from Sand Cancer and Sand Capricorn, hello guys. See you all in-game. Okay. Alright, so those are the server merges. And then of course some guidelines okay some guidelines of course i think we went through this one before already but yeah any information for all other servers will be preserved it says here so if you have created accounts from different servers will still be um what's this merged and you will preserve your account information and yada 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 you can just read on this later on I think a lot of the things that are supposed to be retained are retained, right? So there's not much that's going to change here. Familiar Arena, there was an announcement for Familiar Arena before that we will have 30% more um, rewards now for Asterite in Familiar Arena given that it's going to be much harder to get into the top 100 for sure with uh, the server merge, of course. And of course, uh, the ranking will just now be based on how many points you have so yeah it will combine all the three servers and then based on how many points you have you're going to be re-ranked right okay and then fight for the throne will continue will now restart okay yeah it will now restart after the merge okay almost everything will be preserved as well ranking mission challenges kingdoms and all those Okay, so there's not much to look up into this one. Next up is, okay, this is the announcement for the Familiar Arena. Okay, Familiar Arena calculation. Okay, so if you haven't read on this one yet, I'll leave it in the description as well. Alright, uh, I'm not sure what the big thing about this one, but anyways, I think this is the biggest thing that we want to check out here, the last part over here. So. The number of claimable asteroid rewards will be increased by approximately 30% when compared to before. So it's an increase of 30% when compared to before. Okay? 
And then top 1% and top 15% rewards will be added to weekly and season rewards. I'm not sure what this means, but hopefully it's good. Right? And then same with Lava Valley and Temple Arena. When calculating the top end percent ranking, Soul Divers rank in the 1 to 100 will be excluded to expand the range of the top end percent reward. Uh, I'm not sure how the calculation works on this one, so if anyone can do the math on this one. Um, I'm not sure what 100 players or how 100 players will be affecting the top end percent, but we'll see. We'll see in game especially. Um, hopefully it's going to be much easier now to actually hit top 1%, 3%, 5%, up to 10% because of this change. Because I think top 100 is also already occupying, I think this is already top 1% right now, right? So it's they're already occupying a lot of the spaces that's making it really hard for a lot of players to stay in top 1%, 3%, and 5% for the asteroid reward so i guess that's the same thing with familiar arena right so i think yeah it's already usually just 10 top 10 percent right the top 100 are already the top 10 percent of the server that's why it's really really hard once you get to outside of top 100 you're already at usually top 10 percent or top 15 percent right so if we exclude the top 100 from the calculation of the top n percent this means that it's possible for people to actually get more rewards for the, the rankings. Okay, so we they will not be counting top 1 to 100 in the top 1%, 3%, and 5%. Hopefully, that's how this works. That's how I understand it. Uh, let me know if you have any other explanations in the comments below. But overall, this is going to be a good change and more, um, more ways for everyone to be receiving um, asteroids. Okay? Next up, we have the new episode, so the Fated Challenge card. So this is where we are going to be using Sunshine, and I believe we will have a new Dark Familiar, right? I think it's the wizard guy. I forgot his name. I think he will be here. Yeah, it's this one, Floki Doki. Floaty Doki, okay? So that's the new Familiar, and of course, going to be usable in the Familiar Dungeon. I haven't checked on his skills yet. Let me look into that later wait okay i went ahead and checked out the familiars list in korean jp server so this is floaty doki basically he's named wiz wiz in japan right so okay let's try to take a look at his skills let me adjust this for a bit Okay, we don't care about the stats as much because this is going to be a support familiar. So I'm guessing it's going to be the same as Sage Reindeer, as Sage Reindeer as we call it. Okay, so yeah, boost critical rate and damage based on your familiar build. Boost damage dealt in the Fated Challenge card story episode dungeon. So yeah, it is very similar to Sage Reindeer. Okay, so yeah, it also increases critical rate based on how many dark familiars you have and critical damage as well for each attack oh wow wait this is really strong especially for people that are using uh, relics it can be relics um what is it arachnes relics arachnes and this guy right or relics plus rimu and then this guy right so it's going to be very strong what Although Rimu is a defensive familiar, so it's not gonna have any effect here. So probably better to have Arachnes, no? So that's 20% increase critical damage. And then that's 12% increase in critical rate if you have triple dark. So it's actually going to be very, very strong. It's going to be a very strong build if anyone's going to be just Awaken 7, right? Reaching Awaken 7 for the passive of this familiar so it's going to be very strong in pvp so watch out for this guy and watch out for those builds so arachnes relics plus this okay so yeah for active spell links a dark spell at the enemy and cast a spell on both you and your party members to boost your damage oh no i hope this does not one shot and this does not follow your <laughs> enemies as well i hope it's not a homing skill because if it is you're going to see a lot of whales um, awakening, awakening this to 10, right? 
So, grants Dark Seal to you and your party members. Dark Seal will deal an additional 20% damage hit for every normal attack. Wow, this is also really strong. This is also really strong, huh? Every time you do normal attacks, you will be hitting for additional attacks or additional damage. So, ooh, this is actually pretty strong, huh? It's actually pretty strong. And then Familiar Arena does dark damage to a single enemy and increases damage dealt to that enemy. Ooh. Okay, the problem with this is, the, is that it's just for one Familiar. So it hits one Familiar. Usually for Familiar Arena, you want AoE Familiar. So I don't think it's going to be really good, but it's really strong still. Eliminating one Familiar right away at the start of the battle is going to be very strong. It also does the increased damage the same as the effect that Arachnes does, right? So it's really strong, really strong, especially for PvP, I think. Oof, this is going to be a problem for PvP. Okay, look forward to this game. I might try to summon, hmm, I'll think about it, but hopefully we get it awake 3 if it's possible, but I'm not going to spend anything on this, but yeah. He's really strong, he's really strong. Okay, so that's the new 4-star floaty doki. Yeah, anyways, new mount, Hedgy. We have Hedgy, I think um, this was teased before already as well. New costume, Milky Way outfit or hat, and Astrologist's cap. So we have new costumes, hopefully these are good. And then new events, Gosling, the Astrologist's mission event, Bubbling Heart Exchange event, Sunshine Power Up event, Server Merge, Celebration event, and Fated Challenge cards, EP Summon. So... Hopefully, we get some good stuff here because, of course, we don't get any description on what the events are. We're going to check out every details, every update details tomorrow as soon as they upload it here on the updates page. Right? So we still don't have it here, but as soon as they upload it and we're live on Twitch, we're going to check it out right away. Personally, I'm very excited for the server merge, even though I haven't been... Uh, active as much. I've only been AFKing, <laughs> but you know, server merge is something new, and of course, we'll get to meet new people. Um, it's going to spice up the stagnant kingdom wars, uh, fight for the thrones, relic wars. It's going to change everything up. Hopefully, hopefully, unless you have you're already the server that has the whales and has the kingdoms that are already very very dominant. So. Hopefully you guys get your new members as well for the people that are looking for new members for the kingdom and enjoy the game as it is, okay? So thank you very much for watching. This is it for me. See you again tomorrow. And of course, leave a comment for any thoughts, suggestions, and like, subscribe if you haven't yet. See you again next time. Bye-bye.